right guys my son had this we messing around a bit and um, doesn't want it anymore it does work somehow somewhere click it on so I was wondering if I could do anything with it I'll get it working in a minute there you go guys so I was just thinking could I use the circuit for something maybe I could do something with it because he doesn't want it I'm going to take it apart anyway first I thought the um, how do you put a new bulb in you know what there you go you rip that put it back in there so this is a circuit obviously um, nice oh wow it's got three, three LEDs going didn't know that I, I like this circuit, it's really nice. It's very simple and it, it got working on these batteries indeed. So, I'll see if I can make anything with it. If, if, I, if I do, then you'll see it. So guys, because it's a pulse circuit, I have to make something uh, like a pulse motor so I'm going to make a pulse motor with this but I'm thinking it's such a beautiful little circuit and those LEDs are so small and if I break it up and it doesn't work again I don't know I, I like this it's really compact and everything else so what I'm thinking of doing is find a uh, pulse circuit make a self-starting pulse motor because you see uh, this one's got three LEDs flashing different rate, different times. I can make one with two LEDs and see if um, if the flashing would help its the pulse motor start by itself. So that's the idea anyway. Um, let's see what we can do. And with all my projects, I have an idea in my head, and I have to just see if they work. If they don't work, then it's back to drawing board. Thank you guys. Hi everyone. So. I was thinking about this flip-flop circuit and making that to do an um, auto start but to be honest with you I'm not sure if it's going to work but we're going to try it out anyway so I've uh, I'm using BC547 transistor here two of them and I built it up and here it is so what I'm going to do is just switch it on this is a 9 volt circuit so there it is it's working fine uh, it's a 9 volt circuit just uh... so it works good right so I'm not gonna go into detail how I, how I made it obviously there's loads of YouTube video out there but I needed to flash faster so it, it, it blinks quicker so I'm gonna either change the capacitors or resistors and see if I can get it to flash faster the only thing I do not like about this circuit it works on 9 volts I, I I don't really like 9 volt I wanted to work on 1.5 volt but nevertheless we shall see what we can do to make this thing uh, self-start okay guys so the story so far clear this rubbish out of the way I've uh, made this. I know it's thick, but that's all I got. And I think it's sometimes it's good to have that. I make sure it's flush against that. So I made this coil here and this coil here. It's just a bobbin. I've done it in my previous video, so it's simple. I put a nut and bolt through through there, through, through the uh, driller, and just wind it up. Now I'm going to tell you this now. So I got two different size wires and um, resistance. So I'm going to tell you what, what they are. One of them was from this small small thing here, which is this one. And let me just, which is this one here. And basically this one is 0 0.08 millimeter wire, 174 ohms. This one is, um, 0.11 millimeter wire and it's 38.7 ohms now I didn't I didn't uh, go for particular ohms or particular wire I used what I had I want to use two different ones to see what happens okay guys so I've been through quite a few problems here and tried to do many different things I even tried it with this 
but I think I've done something wrong there. Anyway, so this is uh, the flip-flop that you saw earlier, but I've changed the capacitors to make it go a little bit faster than it is. And I'm, I've got this here from the old, the old, um, old, or the old one that I made before, basically. So I'm going to put this on there, and I think it works now. If I hold hold these two, the, the idea is to self-start. Okay, so if I just keep that pause there, I put these two together like this. As you can see, is oh, positioning is prob prob uh, important. Self-starting. Can you see that, guys? Self-starting. So if I pause that there again, right? I'm gonna zoom this in. Zoom this in a bit more. Okay. So pause that there. I'll put this here. I do this. So it's just start in theory. There you go, guys. So that's a success. Self-starting. Um, motor starts by itself what I will do I'll tidy it up a bit more I love it okay guys so I'm gonna leave it there because um, it's gonna go on and on so I'll make a part two for this one and basically I want to change the capacitors on change the resistor I want to check the voltages and see if I can't make this work even better without burning the transistors out. So that's what I'm going to do. Also, I'm going to change this all together and make another one. I did try, I did attempt with this one, like I said, but um, I don't know, this magnet just didn't work out for me for some reason or another. So, yeah. So, we'll see you in part two and uh, subscribe, thumbs up and leave a comment. Thank you for watching.